They say academia still stands. The journals are full. The conferences go on. The universities still bear the names of saints, kings, and empires. But look again. What we're witnessing isn't a minor dysfunction. It's not just a funding crisis. It's a systemic unraveling. Not loud, not sudden, but deep. The kind of collapse that happens when the soul leaves the structure. Research today is ritual. Metrics have replaced meaning. Professors publish not to communicate truth, but to survive, to climb to stay afloat in a game whose rules no longer serve inquiry. Peer review. It was meant to ensure quality. Now, it enforces orthodoxy. Anything too original, too daring, too alive, filtered, delayed, punished. This isn't dysfunction. This is the system working exactly as it has been reshaped to function. Not to pursue truth, but to manage appearances, to brand science, to sanitize thought, to reward the safe, the strategic, the obedient, and the thinkers. They're leaving or being pushed out, not because they failed, but because they couldn't be tamed. Dr. Augustin Astachik saw it coming. He didn't fall from the temple. The temple collapsed behind him. He heard the hollow echo in the lecture halls. He watched as curiosity was traded for compliance. He felt what so many feel now but cannot say aloud. That something sacred was dying inside those walls. So he stepped out, not only out of condemnation, but out of salvation and foresight. Because he understood what's collapsing is not knowledge. What's collapsing is the packaging and the monopoly of it. Just as the church once lost its grip on truth, the academic establishment is losing its claim on vision. The center is no longer holding because it is no longer the center. That center is shifting to the margins, to the deserts, to the edges of thought where a different kind of inquiry is being born. This is not a crisis. This is a turning point in history. And Augustine is not alone. Others are coming. Those who see the ruins for what they are, those who no longer ask for permission to think freely. Out there in the frontiers of knowledge, he is building evolution. Not at the periphery, but at a new center of gravity. A gravitational field where thinking can unfold again. Where science serves and breathes life, not metrics. Where ideas matter more than branding. Where vision is not punished, but cherished and protected. Yes, the collapse is real. And so is the becoming. And what rises now is not another institution, but a resonant movement. Rerooting of the mind in the living soil of the earth. Dr. Augustine Stachik didn't lose his place. He found the path that was meant to be his and gave meaning to his life. And through him, a new form of knowledge is coming into being. Outside the walls, beyond the gates, where truth will be able to reveal itself and speak again. Join the movement. Discover more at www.evolutio.ar. Support Original Thought on Patreon, patreon.com slash e-v-o-l-u-t-i-o.